Ali, Idris, like me, you are also suffering from a cold. Uh, so we do our best and we struggle through this. Um, no. Let's try and get as excited as possible about what you're doing. I'm very excited about what I'm doing. What are you doing? <laughs> so I'm doing a dashboard. Um, What's a dashboard? A dashboard is uh, a way to visualize information. And in that case, uh, it's a dashboard about surveillance, um, disease surveillance. So we collect routine epi epi epidemiological data on um, disease, uh, on outbreak prone diseases, and we map them into a dashboard. Okay, so this data, this comes from what, the Ministry of Health, it comes from the WHO, it usual, comes from local, the, the usual sources? Usually it's, uh, it, it's coming from the MOH, but it, it can also come from uh, community health workers, for okay. example. Okay, yeah. alright, so you grab this data and you pump it into your clever system, and Maddie, can we focus in on the system here? Can you perhaps press some buttons and make it do cool stuff? Exactly, so then you map everything on the dashboard, so you got the map here with all the different health areas. In that case, it's the PHUs, the public health units, the catchment areas of each public health um, unit in Sierra Leone in the district of Tonkuli. You have the AP curves here um, and you got the period there. So if you want to focus uh, only on, uh, for example, malaria, you would just click on malaria cases and that would um, filter only the malaria cases, right? So yeah, that's clear. You, you map only, only the malaria cases. If you want to, to have a look at measles, yeah, measles. There you go, and then you have the, the cases of, of measles, and you see that in here you have actually quite a lot. It's in Masang Bay, 66 cases. So does this mean as a medical coordinator I can now manage operations from the swimming pool on my smartphone? Um, yeah, you pretty much can do that. Great! <laughs> Dr. Bargavi. Idris, this looks amazing. Um, as an epidemiologist and an infectious diseases doctor, I can totally see why this would be super useful. I can track epidemics. Um, can it also serve as a bit of an early warning system, though, for me to sort of think this is where I need to go, or perhaps to, to, to sort of strategize around infectious diseases responses? So in other words, you don't even have to get out of bed in the morning as a midco. You can just lie there and wait for the thing to say buzz, buzz, buzz. And then tell people where to go. Exactly. exactly. That's, that's what I was saying. So in that, in that district, district with 66 cases, I would automatically send my team there for an investigation because that's, that's unusual. So that's, that's the early warning system. So bef before it comes to an, out to, to an outbreak, you have the, war the, the warning signs that are coming from the dashboard because you can see the routine data and it's not in an Excel sheet that you cannot uh, actually, actually read. Or so, so, so that's how things happen today. So, these, so people who are in charge of tracking epidemiologicals, they've got Excel spreadsheets and, and it's not so obvious to read stuff and they have to actually look through the line by line. But with this system, things become, you're displaying it differently. That's what this is all about. Because they're not even looking at the Excel sheet usually so they don't they don't see what's happening and so like we have an outbreak and we need like to uh, intervene and intervene quickly and so on but like there was warning signs and we haven't seen them so the point of the dashboard is to see them early enough so we can intervene before the outbreak is uh, actually too big and have you done this in the field yet is this live or is this, uh... this is live this is uh, this is in Sierra Leone but we also have one in South Kivu we have another one in um, Katanga as well and soon in more places. Fantastic. Idris, one question. This is clearly dependent on the health facilities sending you their data. How have you got people on board? Are, are, are the local Ministry of Health facilities participating in this as well? Do they, uh, do they get something out of it? Absolutely. So in the case of, uh, of Sierra Leone, for example, so before the dashboard, the completeness was between 60 to 70 percent. Using the dashboard and showing the district health uh, surveillance officer and the, the, the district health team, the, the MOH team, the dashboard, the results, what they were collecting, uh, and also to the public health, public health unit, they realized that it was actually useful. And they had like a direct feedback loop on the information they were giving, which was not the case beforehand. Understood. And what's next then? Are you going to try in more places? Are you going to launch yourself as a separate organization and leave MSF? Yeah. A startup spin off? <laughs> I, I'm looking for funds now. You're looking for funds, yeah. So if anybody out there wants to give him a million, how much do you need? Two. 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 Now's the time. Okay, no, no, we'll, we're going to implement that in many different uh, places. And the dashboard is also, the code is developed open source, so anyone uh, can actually use it for like, different purposes. Clearly, very. And so, have other organizations, not MSF, done anything similar to this before? Absolutely. The British Red Cross, for example, and we're collaborating with them uh, a lot on that because they, they, they also like to uh, visualize all the, uh, the huge data set they are, get, get, they are, they are getting from the field. Cool, great. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you.